advocate for don't just rely on one thing. And that's right. something that I have not with Kevin and I, you know, like Kevin does a lot for me, but I'm still out there boots on ground, mm -hmm. um, doing lunch and learns with yep. vets. Uh, I do any and every community event that I can. We just did trunk or treating. Um, and, and it takes nothing but time, you know, yep. you might have a little entry fee, but you know, I literally mm -hmm. standing out there in a cat in a hat costume uh, a couple <laughs> of days ago with two of my dogs. Uh, well, yeah. this is a training dog back here yeah. and then my dog with her, um, uh, two of my dogs literally just sitting on chairs and people are walking back. Going, oh my God, the dog's so good. I wish my dog, yeah. Oh, it can't be. Here's a card. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yep. What, what do you mean? I'm a dog trainer. That's why there's, and then all of a sudden I call my dog down. I do a couple of tricks, you know, heel, walk around, sit, stay down, place, whatever. And they're like, Poof. I'm like, yeah, yeah, give me a call. You sit here on the back of my car. There's a QR code, scan it. They'll set you up for a phone consultation. It's free. I'll, I'll talk to you next week. Mm -hmm. And they're like, check. Everybody's yeah. like, oh, we've been looking for a dog trainer. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, on the, when I wear my shirts in public, I've got a dog trainer across the yep. back of my shoulder. Um, best marketing thing in the world. I go best to marketing and, thing in the world. Oh I my couldn't God. Agree like, more. Yeah. yeah. And if you are not wearing a shirt that says dog trainer on it, where people can black and white, see it, then you're missing out because I can be out at dinner. I can be at the soccer game with my kids. I can yeah. be, you know, whatever. And people, Hey, um, I know you're busy. I hate to bother you, but I saw your shirt. Um, do you have a card? Yeah, I do. Here you go. Boom. You know? And sometimes yeah. people don't call, but guess what? They, they might not have a dog, but all the time I have people who are like, Oh, my sister's dogs, they're, they're horrible. Okay. <laughs> I need right. to give you their card and they might call them might not, but you know, I truly believe in organic sales. Mm -hmm. Um, so like I'm constantly in the public trying to do organic. I do pack walks on the weekend and people just like draw jaws are dropped, like watching me and a pack of whether it's three dogs or 15 dogs walk by, they're like, Oh my God. I'm like, here's a card. Yeah. Here's a card. And I hear yeah. You. Absolutely, man. Yeah. I mean, for anybody who's listening to this right now, I, I just want to make this like very clear. What Dwayne is saying right now is absolute gold, right? I think a lot of times people think that there's like a secret sauce or a, something that they don't have access to that other dog trainers do, right? And that's what is the difference between like allowing this person to be successful and the reason that you may not be as successful as you want to be. But a lot of times it's just, it's not about doing crazy, big, you know, like insane marketing strategies, it's about doing the, the fundamentals right. And so if in your free time, right, which is a whole different conversation, if you feel like you don't have free, <laughs> free time, time yeah, sorry. if you feel like you don't have free time, intentionally blocking off hours to go and do stuff like this, right? But getting out there in, in front of people with a t-shirt that just says dog trainer on it. I, you know, I tell a lot of people this as well. It's like, it's a super powerful thing. If anyone has a dog, if they haven't been through training already, more than likely that dog needs training and it needs help. So if you're just there with a business card or even on the spot, if you say, hey, listen, we do free consultations, would you be interested in doing something like that? Let me, let me look at my calendar. Let's find a day and time where we can do this. Now you've set up consultations with people. And this is kind of like gasoline, uh, pouring gasoline on top of a fire that's already lit in your business when it comes to other things like paid advertising, like search engine optimization, like Facebook marketing, social media marketing, all these different things. So they all work in harmony together. And just relying on one thing, I think is a little bit of a losing proposition. Mm -hmm.